Hi everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we're going to show you how NetCafe works. And uh, to set up that, you have to have at least two computers to three computers. So what you do, you install NetCafe first on your on your machine. There's what they call the server and the client. What client software? So this is the server software. It looks like this. Uh, it's blinking blinking but don't worry i think i think so you if you have already installed it it's good for you so now we're gonna show you if it's like this you can see all those computers are on you can see there's pc1 pc3 pc6 pc7 pc i want to make them be closer because of this light it shows the camera not to show well okay so all these computers are connected so we're gonna show you how to open one computer how to create account how to give more time things like that so once these computers are connected, you can connect, you can go to one computer. If somebody is sitting on say, PC one, you can give him time or you can log it out. Okay, let's put let's give time to PC PC3 because there is no one on PC3. So let me go. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna show PC3. So I'm gonna
gives you a form to add a user. Then you start so I start putting cash money how much? 60. 60. Okay. You put the name of the person. Then you put in the password. Okay, then you put in the what? To so confirm the password. Then you see you save. You can see down here you save. After when you saved, you can see all oh, his his name is there. We put in Hilton here and all these are the accounts we have already on the system. We can see that we can also delete one account. So we're gonna delete that account. We deleted it now it's gone, you get me. So we can also see uh, we can also add time on a on a computer which is already opened you get me so maybe somebody said i'll mend with two minutes so add time there then i'm gonna come now the difference is this one will never allow you to add time when somebody's when the computer is active so easy cafe does that but net cafe doesn't do that so what we're gonna do we can add time on a computer which is already off closed so you right click on that then you set timer then you add maybe one minute you add one minute on that then you say okay then once that is done uh, also what you can do you can restart a computer you can turn off all computers you can reboot a computer you understand where you are on your admin uh, what panel you can do everything from where you are so for instance you want to restart a computer maybe it's been slow or you want to shut down the computers maybe you're going or you want someone leaves and you want to save electricity you want to shut down that specific computer so what we're gonna do we're gonna shut down computer pc3 which we've been playing with okay let's go you right click let me say turn off or restart so so it's gonna restart it I'm gonna restart it i'm gonna go there and uh, you can see far away from here it's gonna be shutting down i wonder if you can see i'm gonna go there then i'm coming I'm gonna go there then you can see it's gonna go off and come on uh, you can see it went off so it's gonna come back so it's no it's now restarting you can see it's restarting by itself can see it has restarted so now it's gonna close that so it will need you to have you see now it has closed that's good yeah now guys you've seen so you can use this tool is a uh, free you can download it on the internet uh, but if you want to pay you can use a paid one but this is free so uh, once you shut down the computer you will go manually to switch it on so but for now if you don't want to do that you just restart it but once you turn it off you have to go physically and uh, do what uh do switch on that computer because once you switch it off it simply means you don't have any more control until the computer goes on but if you say restart it's gonna restart then you also in the process you're gonna get gain control again so let me close the system. Uh, let me show you to close the system here. What? Okay, you call you cancel here. Cancel in the corner. Then you see here. I wanna close it. I close this so it looks like this here. You. So you 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 double click here to switch it on. You say yes. Then it can ask you for the password. You put in the password. Okay, once you're done, with, so it's going to be picking up all the computers which are connected. So what you have to do here, once you install it, you have to know your what, your IP address for this computer. So in most cases, we, we, we recommend you make what they call a static IP address. So once you learn how to do the static IP address, this computer will never change the IP address because 
the your your client computers you're gonna give them is the, what the IP address of your computer so once you give them IP address of your computer it simply means even if you switch it down this it will never change but if you don't use a static computer IP it simply means whenever you switch off your computer you're gonna have also to re give those client computers what um, some things like uh, uh, also the same name so to check your computer yeah you can go here uh, the IP and say IP config IP uh, config config something like that Com config uh, you can see all of that so you can see the gateway submask and uh, IPv6 address you can see all of that so if that is a little bit difficult for you then you can also try to use this network stuff that's when you're gonna see the adapter and all of that uh, let see sharing settings no uh, that's when we go to details that's when you're gonna see your IP address you can see the IP v4 address here is 192.16 whatever those you get me that's the IP address so this is the address you give to other client computers in the software so that they can be able to communicate with your machine thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe you can ask any question you need to ask to then we can maybe if you're looking for specific software we can cover it then we show you how it works thanks for watching see you in the next video